All right, guys. So I surprise you with white t-shirt now. Ah, white with a skull and something. I got this from a bar, by the way, here in Bulgaria, in the seaside. We went to this bar. It was very nice, and uh, they sell those t-shirts. And I say, okay, give me one, and I paid for it. It was like twenty euro. Yeah, so it's yeah. it's nothing too much, but I like to wear it at home. So, what do we gonna do to today? Today. Since yesterday, there was this angry Russian guy that said that only six uh, our station reviews for two hours and something, something. So I, I was a little upset. I couldn't sleep today, tonight, uh, because I was scared of my life. I slept with a big knife under my pillow. But then I decided that today probably we have to do more reviews. So this guy will be pacified a little bit and we will have peace. And probably we will live to see another day, which will be great. But I will do a quick sculpt, maybe around 30 minutes of this girl. So let me tell you a little bit about this girl. Who is this girl and why I'm sculpting her? So I bumped into this guy's portfolio. This is a Chinese guy, I think, because uh, there are hieroglyphs. I cannot read it quite much in his art station. So this guy is amazingly good. Uh, like some Chinese guys are. This is guy is just superb. And he is making, of course, 3D models, mostly female. And they are superb. So you can check it out in the description. Link in the description of this video, of course. And it's, uh, it's super nice. And when something inspires me, and something uh, kind of um, grabs my attention, I sometimes study it. I sometimes just grab screenshots and try to replicate it. This is a good exercise, by the way, I recommend it to everybody or to anybody also. So it's great. But today, Russian guy, relax. We will do our station reviews mostly. Hopefully we will do above 20 our station portfolios for one day. So we will catch up a little bit with the demand because obviously there is a huge demand. I didn't know that people are so eager for me to review their art stations, but obviously I live in another planet or something because I'm playing Star uh, Starfield, of course. That's why I'm living in many planets. Yesterday, I even managed to make an outpost with... Uh, there is a planet with so many resources and, uh, and in the same place, which is rare. And I managed to find five resources in the same place. I built my outpost. I made a, the outpost and made extractors and stuff and uh, I'm rich now. <laughs> but it's a hideous thing. I mean, I like to just go explore and uh, uh, kill some bandits or whatever. It's, it's the best thing in Starfield. Like in most games, of course, from Bethesda. Killing some bad guys is just very cool. Now, this... Uh, for now looks pretty awkward. It doesn't look quite right, but for let's say three minutes of sculpting Maybe more or less because I was speaking a little bit before start sculpting. It's uh, <laughs> Probably kind of okay Hopefully we will manage to do something that's looking uh, Relatively fine because there is no time for 30 minutes even me uh, I cannot do a beautiful girl in 20 minutes. Uh, in 30 minutes, it's difficult. Maybe there is a guy in the world. If I practice and do only beautiful girls every day, after a month or so, I probably will be able to do it in 30 minutes, and it will be great because I will be so familiar with the process. I can, I can do it with my eyes closed. For example, I'm saying for example. Is it the Dust 3D character? Uh, so it's not very good. If it's Dust 3D, it's not nice. But, nonetheless, it's good for practice. It's good for practice because we have front view, we have also side view. So yeah. But maybe this guy is making those characters for the Dust. Yeah, I know, it's a, it's a huge uh, stretch, but he looks, I mean, Chinese, you know, they can do stuff, they can do amazing stuff, so yeah, probably, probably uh, he's 
the guy who has done this for Dust Treaty, I imagine. If, if he doesn't, if he is not the guy, then yeah, I'm a little bit upset I will be, but still, it doesn't matter that much. What matters is that the character looks pretty good and we will try to replicate it here. Just a little bit, just for practice, because I love to do faces and this will be a nice practitioner practice for me. Practitioner practice is a very good English word, remember it because it's very important. When you go to your English exam, you have to remember to put in this word, even if there is no place to put it. Just put it on top uh, with your name and put practitioner practice or something. And you will get the best uh, possible grade uh, from bottom to up. I mean, the best. All right, let's increase the resolution it's time i think already sometimes you just see that it's time to increase the resolution of course so today again it's even earlier the stream is even earlier than yesterday but as i said i couldn't sleep i was uh, worried that the russian guy will find me and uh, he will do something to me to my family i was a little bit concerned about that, so I decided to do the reviews as fast as possible. So he will be happy, and we all will be happy, you know. And we will keep the, we'll keep everything peacefully and quiet. Although these days Russians are not very famous for peace, uh, but yeah, you know, it's not when you choose a president like this for more than twenty years. You know, power corrupts, great power corrupts more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, uh, you, you shouldn't be surprised of uh, politics in this channel, because I like to speak about everything. There is no kind of uh, taboos for me. Maybe there is, maybe there is. Maybe there are some taboos, probably, but not too much. I'm not monetizing them, so even if they do demonetize them, the videos, uh, I will not feel it because they are not monetized to begin with. So it's not a big issue for me. Big ears. Big ears. Hmm, the nose is not quite like this. There are things that can be better, but since we are less than 10 minutes into this sculpt, everything is forgivable. So guys, don't look at me. Try to try to put more time into your sculpts, not 10, not 30 minutes. 10 or 30 minutes is not enough even for experienced artists to do anything uh, relatively nice you have to spend more time you have to spend hours in order to get something good especially if you're not super experienced and very fast artist which in the beginning nobody is you know it's difficult to be ultra experienced and mm, and fast artist uh, to begin with when you started yesterday for example it's pretty hard uh, and I'm not saying that from my experience, because I was fast, fast uh, when I was, even when I was born, I was super fast. So yeah, my mother uh, got the the waters out when she was pregnant and she was supposed to have birth. She got the waters out, but I was born already, like an hour ago, and then the waters came out. I'm that fast, you know. So yeah. So I was fast then, I'm fast now. It's just about, it's a birth uh, defect or something to be fast. So don't worry if you're not fast. You're not born this way, you know, so it's normal. It's normal, paranormal. Nico grew 20 years in like 12 years. Yeah, something like this. 
but that's uh, that's unfortunate because I'm super fast and um, I will die in my 40s for example because you know I will live 80 years but for 40 years so double as fast as normal people but again fast people they die young so don't try to be as fast as me be as fast as yourself or be faster than yourself yeah compare yourself to yourself that's uh, I think it's the best way if you compare yourself to yourself uh, let's uh, see this a little bit from the side view three quarters ah, not bad let's inflate a little bit the lips she's doing just a little bit uh, this kind of a uh, influencer thing female influencers and even males I noticed they are doing a little bit of you know this <laughs> ultra funny ultra funny for me it's ultra funny and when I see people uh, by the way I started to to act like those people not to like this but for example back in the days like let's say six seven years ago when I see people photographing their, themselves and their normal faces and suddenly when the camera is on them they're like something like this and I was like what the f you know but now I'm doing the same so yeah uh, oh, similar not the same completely but yeah but that's uh, so um, artificial you know those smiles they're not real <laughs> And it's it's visible that they're not real. I don't know how the people, but everybody likes to see happy people in their Facebook feed, in their Instagram or Twitter or whatever. So yeah, nobody likes grim, grumpy faces, or at least most people don't. Maybe some likes. I don't know. Likes it. A little bit more feminine. How much time do we have? Okay, 15 minutes. Yeah, uh, for 12 minutes until beginning of this stream, I think we have something that is cool, relatively cool. Let's see the ears, by the way. It's yeah, the ears are very interesting. Let's make them. Ears are important. Yeah, ears, lives matters, uh, as people say. They don't say it, I think. Years, lives, matters. I, I don't think anyone ever have said that. But me. So, to be unique, sometimes it's nice. Sometimes it's not. You know, I was watching The Office. And I find my traits in Michael. The manager of The Office. In the, in the TV series, you know. Um, yeah, he's a very strange guy. With... Uh, interesting sense of what's appropriate and what's not and that's why he's so funny of course and that's what i'm doing here i'm trying to be funny in the similar fashion you know which can be offended by the way to some people and i will apologize to all people that i eventually will offend or have been offended uh, by me because that's not my goal and um, yeah of course that's not an excuse even if it's not your goal if you offend somebody that's not a super excuse but still it's something right it's not ultra excuse but it's something i could say fuck you all but i don't you know so yeah it's fine by the way i'm following this guy in youtube his uh, he uh, his channel is something like uh, psychological stuff, but in a fun way he's presenting the things. I don't remember his name by the way, but I'm following his channel, so it's fine. I will show it some someday if uh, people are interested. But it's interesting for self development, for self uh, awareness, 
those kind of things that we are missing here, especially in the post-Soviet countries. And Russians also, uh, most Russians, most Ukrainians also, I'm sorry to say that, but we are not very emotionally intelligent people. Because emotional intelligence was um, something that it's dangerous to have back in the communist times. If you have it, uh, you will be making fun of, uh, people will make fun of you and you will feel very bad. <clears throat> so, we were operated in young age to not have it, not have this emotional intelligence. And now in this day and time, where we're living in mostly like westernized society, it's a good thing to have, but you have to develop it by yourself in some methods. Okay, I will probably not do the hair, although without the hair, she doesn't look quite right. So, uh, she, yeah, the chin is a little bit bigger than it should be. Usually, when you're making a female character, if you make the chin a little bit bigger than it should be, and it's not the same, and it's uh, kind of ruining the experience of the, the female character. So, I will try to make the chin a bit smaller. And we'll see what will happen. Inflate it a bit. Maybe push it back. Good job. Good job. I would say. Okay, uh, we may say it's kind of ready uh, because we don't have too much time. Let's do some very fast hair and we are done with this because we have less than 15 minutes until the Russian guy arrives with his AK-47 or some modernized version, but usually it will be a normal AK and I don't want to uh, disappoint him, of course. I want to just be... All right, well, you know, in a good relationship with this things, you know. You know, probably this is, this was a guy who has, uh, you know, put his portfolio there a uh, few days ago, and he's waiting now for something. But, you know, my portfolio review will not make your portfolio much better. It will give you an idea, which is a start, of course. It will give you some idea how, for example, you can improve. But uh, it's about your will to improve and your wish to improve. This will make you better, definitely. Not just the will, the work is most likely that will make the trick. That will do the trick, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's not uh, ultra bad, I would say. Uh, the model, I mean, that we are done, doing now. It's kind of fine. By the way, I'm working in the same file that I'm working the blue alien. You will see the scenes here. This is the scene with the blue alien. And uh, yeah, I put some stones, I refined a little bit the skirt, but the skirt is still work in progress. And I removed the, the color because I need to see it without the color. Then the color I have to do. Uh, itself because it's not ready but whatever let's continue here you see uh, 20 minutes uh, is a pretty big amount of time you can do a lot in 20 minutes like a face of a character but if you are me since you're not me don't try to do this at home it's dangerous you can break a finger or uh, your wrist can hurt you it's difficult it's painful so be careful especially and you know you see me doing this kind of stuff very fast and and talking at the same time, which is impressive, yes. But you don't know. What you don't know is that I cannot do it that fast without talking. You know, talking is uh, my superpower when I talk. Only when I talk. Then I'm uh, having this superpower. If I stop talking, superpower is gone. And then I cannot sculpt anything if I don't speak. That's why... I'm doing nice courses, you can find them in the description of this video. There are anatomy courses, there are character courses, but I'm always speaking, I never shut up. And uh, that's why I'm doing this very amazing characters, 
That's why I'm the best. But if I shut up and I don't speak, I cannot do anything. Even when I'm working in a freelance at home alone, I'm speaking, I'm talking constantly because otherwise I cannot do it. It's just impossible for me. That's a, that's a bless, bliss, but also a curse. Because you cannot work in an office, you know. In an office environment, people want you to shut up uh, so they can concentrate. And if you continuously speak, you will get complaints, you will get um, fired from Gameloft, for example. Stuff like this that uh, kind of happened to me, by the way. I don't know why. But I just remind you that those things could happen. So I think we are ready. It's amazing. It's super nice. Uh, maybe we can inflate it a little bit. The hair, I mean. And we are the best. Now you can spread the word that Nico is the fastest 3D artist in the world. Spread it. Let everybody knows that. Because it's good to know, right? I know. So. Okay. It's uh, not perfect. But for this amount of time, I would say it's nice. Let's go to the art station reviews. Because I told you, I um, have to go there. It's uh, They called me. And uh, yeah, the telephone rang. It was a known number, very strange number. And I answered and uh, he, uh, the guy on the site, he said, it's uh, Shogu. And um, I want to tell you that if you don't do this art station reviews now, uh, we will send half of our uh, army since it's not doing too much in Ukraine, at least they can uh, go to a house and uh, you will see what happens. So I was, uh, you can understand that I was a little bit afraid. That's why we will do the art station reviews now. Let me just first see some questions or some comments on my amazing speaking today. Uh, you are very active in the chat, which I will advise you and I will ask you to slow down because we will not be able to do so much our station reviews if you are so active in the chat so be less active in the chat so we can do more reviews so i will my home will not be raided by the russian army you know it's just just a little bit of a you know uh i'm begging you please don't write in the chat okay finally caught one of your streams thank you very much why did you choose youtube for streaming and not twitch uh, because in Twitch they are deleting the videos after 30 days or something, which is super awkward for me and I don't like it. Uh, at least from what I'm seeing, there is nothing about Starfield that is attractive. Star Citizen, Spaceborne 2 and No Man's Sky all seems to offer more. That's a good uh, opinion. I mean, opinions. Hello, Master Nico. I, I haven't played those games, by the way, so I don't know. I don't particularly approve uh, those space games. I don't completely like them, but Starfield... I kind of like it. It's Bethesda game. It has the me mechanics of Skyrim and uh, Fallout. So, for me, it's fine. Hello, Nico. How are you? How's the weather? The weather is very nice, by the way, here. I mean, it's not sunny, but that's the good thing. Hello, Nico. I'm working on a dwarf character right now. Is there any tips? Yeah, just... My tip for any character is find similar characters in the internet. There will be some. And just Try to find the best possible versions of those characters. For example, you're doing a dwarf character. Find dwarf characters in the internet, made already, or dwarf concepts. And just see what's the what are the characteristics and how will you make your work to look at least as good as the best one. Hmm? Good advice. Nico, I realized I'm like you. Oh, good. You're bald-headed. That's nice. I like the sculpt part, but get lazy when I have to polish and make presentation for the sculpt. Yeah, some people are like me. Some people hate the part that they have to do something, uh, you know, something. And then they like to, to go deep into the detailization. And that's why those people, by the way, have problems. Because their sculpts are very detailed, but the base is missing and it, it's looking bad. Hey, Nico. Where is better to buy your courses? Where is the commission for you is lower? Uh, our station is the best place to buy the courses. So see in the links in the description. Uh, the second link, the first link is the, the artist that has made the, the model that we are working from uh, for this uh, less than 20 minutes. And then 
there is the link to my ArtStation store and I always say that from $20 in ArtStation I get $18.5. So I even went that far to, uh, for example, somebody asks me to make him, there was a guy, once of course, but there was a guy that in ArtStation, he wants me to make some heads for him. And I say, okay, but uh, what do you want exactly? He wants just high poly from a certain actor. And I say, okay, uh, $50 for a head. It's, it's cool, it's just a high poly, it's quick to make, as you can see. Uh, so I made him and how he, does he pay me? Because he's from European Union and from European Union there is a little bit of a problem for my accountant. We have to do some stuff in order, because we are also in the European Union. So it's a problem, a little bit. Uh, for, especially for small amounts of money to, to make them work. And uh, since I'm paying taxes here, yes, for all money that uh, I get from freelance and everything, I pay taxes. But whatever. So this guy tells me, okay, how can I pay you? I say, okay, you can pay me by buying courses from my station page, you know, and he buys courses for $50 and I get less than 50. Yeah, I get 40, $44 or something, but still it's doable it's fine and then i paid taxes like 10 percent of those 44 dollars i paid to the to the country but still it's okay it's okay so yeah okay let's continue now uh, the joy is a little bigger than from reference here yeah, it was of course hi i'm 46 years old do you <laughs> do you think that's late for 3d artist career i know how to use blender zebras but i'm new in sculpting uh 46 years old Probably yes, probably it's a little bit uh, old for uh, to begin a career with, but since you are 46 years old, you probably can get faster in sculpting and you can get better faster, I guess. But that's up to you, of course, how fast you, you can learn and how much fun do you have. Yeah, any thoughts on 3D world, uh, third world countries? Uh, I read... The, this any thoughts on third world countries i read it like any thoughts on 3d world countries and i say oh 3d world countries which are those, those countries you know but whatever uh, these days i noticed that uh, turkey and um, brazil which are not third world i think but there are a lot of people who are working 3d from those countries but since they are bigger countries that's that's probably normal and logical but yeah, they are the 3D countries probably these days, and India probably, yeah, India. China, of course, but China, uh, those people, they usually don't speak too much English, which is interesting. And when they make their art station, as we can see from this guy, uh, it's in Chinese and uh, all the hieroglyphs and stuff, which is absurd for me to read. Of course, I can use my phone and Google Translate probably to kind of be able to read it a little bit, but who knows. I vaccinated Mr. Nico. Yeah, I have two vaccines, by the way. And since then, I'm talking to myself all the time. So probably the vaccines were not the best idea. But ah, whatever, it's fine. I mean, we are alive and relatively healthy, so I think we are fine. Okay, after sculpting, I stick in retopology. When it comes to ear, any tips, Nico? Yeah, just practice it more. It's There is no real tip. Ears especially are pretty difficult because they are pretty thin here. And when you retopologize, uh, there can be issues. But it's just about, it's a question of time. Usually they're just a little bit slower to retopologize. Nico, what's your favorite piece of your portfolio? That's a good question. Maybe uh, my, but I don't know. Let's open my portfolio. Let's open first this. And we will see this. Our station here. Very nice, by the way. This hedgehog is amazing. Um, but let's go to my portfolio. Oops. As a separate uh, window and let's see which one should be probably lobo i like it uh, very much and i have a figure of lobo and it's just super nice but the last my last course which is this one it's uh one of the most complicated things i've done in blender it was a challenge definitely but it was doable and even at the end since i know m much more things about blender right now uh, it was not lagging as much as the Demon Huntress at the end. Demon Huntress, since I was using Multi-Res modifier, and Multi-Res is causing lag. At least it was back in the days when I was doing the Demon Huntress. It was one year ago or something. 
Yeah, this was one of my uh, probably and this one and uh, why this one the orc cyborg is one of my favorite this was my first course not for me i made it for for uh next to education but um the idea is that the concept was my choosing i it was the first time that i was like you know do you want to do this concept and I liked it so much to do it, and it was very much fun. I have all things, by the way. Batman is here. Amazing. The, the oldest thing is the Batman. So it's, uh, yeah. Uh, probably is the last one and the, lo the Lobo. And the Boy and the Dragon, by the way, when I saw the, um, the printed figure, colored one, it just blew my mind. It's so good. Uh, and I have it here, and I watch it. This guy, he is from Bulgaria, he is just one of the best. I hope I will be able to make an interview with him soon in my channel. And he is now printing this lady and he will color her. So this will be maybe the best sculpture that I will have when he finished it. Because he will make the golden parts with the golden paint, like metallic. And he will make other things and he just made them better than the render usually. He's so good. So I'm expecting something just brilliant. And when he finished it, I asked him to do some pictures or videos of the process. And when he finished it, I will photograph it and uh, everything, put it in, uh, in Mara Station as always. But the main thing is that we probably will make an interview with him. So I expect that. Let's continue. I'm waiting. Oh, Andre is waiting. Yeah, with the uh, AK-47, right? I know. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. But Nico, what do you think about using this character for? I don't uh, intend to use it for nothing. Nico the butt. Yes. Nico grew 20 years in like 12 years. Yeah, we'll say, uh, we'll, I will train to be as fast as you. That's not a good aim. I think the aim should be to be at least as good as me, uh, quality wise. Not as fast as me. The fastness will come with the practice. When you have, I, for example, have. Let's say sculpting, I have more than 5,000 hours, maybe maybe way more, maybe way more than 10,000 hours in sculpting. And people say that 10,000 hours and you are expert in something when you spend 10,000 hours practicing it and studying it. So I am uh, probably expert on sculpting, but I should be since I'm a teacher and I'm teaching you. I am uh, making these uh, streams and I'm making courses, so I should be good, right? Hello, Nico. You're fan here from Ethiopia. Oh, very nice. Ethiopia. It's in Africa. I know almost every country where... Uh, in, in, which co in, in which continent it is. You know, you're the best, Nico. Thank you very much, which uh, I'm not... You know, uh, Rafael Grosetti, do you know him? Hussein Diba, do you know him? Uh, Jan Sprix, do you know him? So, uh, you know, reconsider your bests, you know. Can you show your beginner skills for inspiration? I don't have too much of them, but probably I should uh, kind of research a little bit and find some, collect them in a folder and someday show them. But this will happen. But Nico, have you tried other disciplines like animation shaders? N not quite much. I don't think I've uh, tried those because, you know, animation is made on already ready model. And for me, it's not that creative for People who are animators, I'm not saying that they're not creative people. Especially people who are very good animators, they're super creative. But it's just not my thing. At least I haven't gone so deep into animation, for example, to kind of feel it that much. Nico, a course about racial face differences and how to sculpt them will be really nice. I believe most of new sculptors will love that if you create one. That's a good uh, idea, by the way. <laughs> to make uh, racial differences... Uh, course about the ration difference but it shouldn't be a course probably a series of youtube videos would be enough well now nico reflection face them never thought i'd see <laughs> plastic surgery lips exactly big fan sir big well a big fan <laughs> thank you kebian trabajo nico okay that's a good job something yeah teacher can you sculpt some female characters with high face value high face value I don't know about that. High face value. I don't know what's high face value. Nico, what's uh, what you for me? Can I work every char character that I love for first study each another me every day, like leg day, head day? 
Um, I advise you to make weeks. Head week, torso week, but uh, I told you last time, I don't consider doing just the torso, or just the hands, or just the arms, or just the legs. I would consider doing the whole body, because whole body uh, is homogeneous, this with, with all, all parts. It looks good because it, it's with all parts. If you do some, just a certain part, you will not be able to see it in relation to the other parts, and you will not be able to see the whole picture, and the whole picture is important. Have you taken any course from Ryan Kingsley, work the school guy? I think I did. I think I did. I'm, I th I'm pretty sure because Ryan, Ryan Kingsley is, uh, especially back in the days, he was one of the gurus. So I'm pretty sure I did. But not paid ones. Probably torrent ones or somebody gave it to me. Or the YouTube videos. I haven't paid him, especially. Which is sad, you know. Oh, yeah. Uh, yes, yes, Nico was born. He took his parents from hospital to home. Yeah, I was driving them uh, with uh, my Ferrari. <laughs> hey there, how's your day going? It's fine. Uh, hello, bro, Nico. Hello. When you watch videos, do you normally watch them in English or your native language? In English, usually. Amazing. Now, speed is speed. Faster, Nico, I'm going. <laughs> hey, Nico, I posted a month ago. Ah, okay. Hola. Como estas? Hola, como estas? Uh, how, how are you doing? Or something like this. How are you? Hi there, I'm uh, 46 years old, do you think? So? Yeah, we also already answered that. I'm here for the first time, Nico. Hello from Ethiopia. Uh, hello. Why you keep the head separate from the body? Mm, because the head needs more detail. The, the body doesn't need that much detail. So if I combine them and I... Uh, remesh them to the level that I need for the face, the body will become too much million polygons and Blender will crash. That's why I keep them like this up to the end probably, where I most likely will combine them. And then, uh, yeah, I, I don't care about the millions of polygons until the end. I mean, I care about millions of polygons, but at the end I can afford it because then I will not uh, rotate and move that much the model. I need it to be low kind of a low until the end part. Even when I'm retopologizing, I probably would keep it still low uh, without combining them. And I will combine them right at the end part when I will export it uh, like a high poly FBX. By the way, I was trying to export once a uh, 40 million polygon model from, Bl uh, from, Zebra, from Blender, from Blender uh, like FBX file to go to Substance Painter for baking. So 40 million, I don't think it worked. It was very slow, I was waiting for a long time, and at the end, I'm not sure how it ended up, but I'm pretty sure it didn't work, so I had to cut the high poly in two parts, 20 million and 20 million, and export them separately. So I cut it at the waist, I think it, he had something like a belt, so it was easy to cut at the waist and export two parts, and then just put too high police in uh, Substance Panther, it's not a problem at all. Nico is so fast, Blender sometimes crushes to slow him down. Exactly, yeah. And Z ZBrush, ZBrush, they, what, that's why they uh, throw me from ZBrush. They, for, they forbid me to use ZBrush. That's why I went to Blender, because they say, Nico, listen, get slower. I mean, slow down a little bit, because ZBrush is not made for this fast working. You are you are making it um, kind of uh, wasting it. And also, uh, it's not good for our company to see people working that fast in ZBrush. Because if you work that fast, uh, people will think that this is a program to work fast and they will not go to the pro, something like this. And they banned me from using ZBrush because I said, no, I will keep my pace and even go faster. I was proud. And they say, okay, then you have to go Blender. And I say, no, please don't make me do that. And they say, you have to, because we told you already. And I went to Blender and it was a nice trip and I don't regret it at all. It's fine. Blender shapes uh, works only in symmetrical modes or you can morph any shape no matter the poly count. I don't know. Nobody expects, ooh, I cannot see where, where were we. What about Udemy? You can stream on Twitch and YouTube at the same time. Yeah, but probably it will be a little bit slower overall 
experience what's all living expenses in Bulgaria. For example, two people, husband and wife, living expenses. Ah, it can be low, it can be high, it depends on what you do. For example, my daughter is in a private kindergarten. So the private kindergartens are very expensive. But I can afford it for now. When I stop, uh, when you stop buying my courses, I will not be able to afford it and my daughter will go to, uh, I don't know, to a foster home or something. I'll have to abandon her because I will not be able to take care of her. So, yeah, try to buy my courses because it, yeah. Тот недоволни руски бил Варемир Путин. So, yeah, Путин called me also and said, Come on, do the R-Station reviews already. Stop reading the comments. Do the R-Station reviews. That's why we are here, for the R-Station reviews. Yeah, but okay, I will do it. I will do it. Okay, if Putin says I have to do it, because, you know, he knows where I live. Because he's Putin, he knows everything. He knows where I live and he can send me some package uh, from space in a form of a nuclear bomb. A couple of kilotons will be enough for the whole building to be evaporated. Yeah, so if the stream at some point just stops, know what happened and remember me, remember me. Yeah, so let's continue. Uh, Nana Lee is a 3D artist, so she's making amazing stuff. This is a sketch probably she made for this, um, this hedgehog and it's very nice. Peachy the hedge, hedgehog, <laughs> yogic peachy, yogic. This is Yozik. Yozik uh, is, I think, a little hedgehog in Russian or in Ukrainian, I'm not sure. Yeah, she's from Ukraine, but ah, she had made also my course. Ooh, but that's almost like my model. What's happening here? I haven't given my model to anybody. Wow, this is probably, probably the best representation of a model from me maybe the render is a little bit off but other than that it's just wow as as you can see it's just super super nice very exact very exact very nice very cool and the mouse also is very nice all the things yeah so you know uh, i i've uh, kind of see what's happening here the girls usually they are more, uh, they're following better the, the tutorials, they're more strict into making the tasks. And I remember back in school, the girls were, seemed more smart, smarter than us. And they were getting better grades and everything. And that probably is uh, the same. Some girl art artists are much more kind of capable because they are willing to spend more time to make it right, just right. And that's the difference between um, kind of intermediate to advanced level artists who is staying this in this position and he's not advancing too much because he's not willing to put the time it's needed and sometimes time is needed to do something right. But very cool. Yeah, Nana Lee, pretty cool. Logan Wiesen. Logan Wiesen. We, we've seen this guy, by the way, and with the, with the eye, I'm sure so. We will continue. This is something like a cowboy. Advanced duelist is the name from Akim Ye. So what I see here, I, I have problems with how this jacket looks inflated. It seems like he's uh, wearing some kind of a mascot suit that is inflated on, on his body. Mm, yeah, it's it's a little bit strange. It's I like that the the clothes are thick, but they are a little bit too thick, probably. I never imagined that I would say that because I advise people to make thicker clothes because they usually make it very paper thin. But uh, this is a little bit too much and it has to go a little bit more on the anatomy of the character. The arms, they are okay, the biceps is a little bit too long and there are some things that can be done. But other than that, it's, it's fine the presentation is not super cool first it's an a pose or t pose as people say it but it's an a pose which usually is not very good for presentation purposes second it doesn't have color which also is not super good for presentation purposes and that's it yeah 
when people see this, just a clear render, this is from uh, the course in YouTube, when they see this, they just don't open it because they see that the, the guy hasn't spent like, let's say, five more hours just to make it with more color, with color and with a better render. So they say, why, if he doesn't spend this amount of time, why should I respect him and open his artwork and see it and like it? You know, when there is, it's visible that the artwork is, um, the guy has spent, or the girl, or the artist has spent so much time to make sure that it looks perfect and nice and, uh, and good with very good lighting and everything, then people are much more inclined to click on it, to like it, and to it will go to trending probably if it's good enough. And overall, yeah, I was like this, by the way. I was doing like, okay, I spent so much time sculpting this. I don't want to touch this anymore. I don't want to make a good render and everything. It's a good sculpt, so let's put it out there. But it's not like this. A good sculpt, good sculpt is not enough. Although this is not particularly super good sculpt. It's a, it's a relatively nice sculpt. Not ultra good sculpt, but even if it's very good sculpt with improper render and improper presentation, you will dial down the value dramatically, twice or uh, like half of the value you will get, even less, even if it's super good sculpt. You have to work on the presentation. What is this? This is another study. I think we have seen this, by the way, from Mehdi. From Tunisia and yeah he's uh, trying of course those anatomy studies they probably are fine uh, but of course they need more work the legs are a little bit you know too thick probably this is his preference which is fine yeah probably this is his preference so I shouldn't say that it's fine the face needs more work of course and the other things but yeah, he's not a uh, professional. He could be. Of course, he had to spend more time researching, learning, and uh, practicing. Practicing is the key for everything, almost. What is this? This is looking pretty nice, by the way. The presentation is kind of nice, and it looks pretty cool. Let's see the other things. Okay, this guy likes monsters, but he had made also other things for work, because he had uh probably 2d works i'm not sure but when i see this portfolio i see some you know very very colorful things that are driving my attention for example when i look at the portfolio i wanted to see those things to look at them but i couldn't my eye was drawn by this here by this sponge or not sponge the the mushroom and i was not able to look at the other things so consider for this portfolio removing all those colorful things or making those monsters a little bit more pop up from the from the thumbnail otherwise yeah you see it's it's not bad to begin with it's fine it's looking relatively fine but but the render is problematic yeah of course the modeling it of course can be better but it's not bad but the render and the presentation is everything you are always drawn to those things and uh, nobody will hire uh, Sean Wayson for uh, for character art because when they see their portfolio they cannot see the characters they're basically just disappearing and you are drawn by this colorful things here and the guy's looking for character artists right and here's uh, uh, mushroom okay let's go to the other portfolio and they have hundreds of portfolios so you have to your portfolio when you look at it it has to grab the eye from the start, from the first second, from the first millisecond. It has to grab the eye with characters, if you want to be a character artist. Definitely. You can have other things, but they have to be dimmed down, for example, if you so insist to have them there, because you have spent numerous hours doing them, but at the end, they can do more harm than good for your portfolio. So, probably, you should leave them out of the portfolio and leave only the characters, make them pop up more, make them more contrasty. Like this, for example, this Predator, Predator from Volodymyr, probably from Ukraine or Russia, nobody knows, we'll see. Uh, but he can be from Belarus also, so nobody knows. I cannot answer the phone right now, sorry. So let's go and see. 
when I'm streaming, I don't answer the phone usually, usually. But if it's something emergency, uh, this looks pretty awesome, I would say. The materials, volumetric we have, you see how this is a little bit more blurred in here, which this little volumetric, or is it volumetric it's called, I'm not sure, but I think it is, uh, it's giving a little bit more of realism. It's not too much. I mean, you see how this uh, shoulder, which is a little bit more backwards from the face, it's a bit more blurred. And also this mandible here is forward and it's a little bit more blurred because the focal point is the face. And when you turn this on or do it manually, it just gives you this little bit more realism. But if your render is not good to start with, it will not give it too much. But this one is, is good. This one is pretty good. It's looking pretty nice. This guy is 3D character artist from Ukraine. He's working in the game industry. And you already have seen his portfolio. Uh, and he's just very good. I would say so. We don't want to see it. Because we will spoil... Most of the people here are uh, beginner, advanced... Uh, not advanced. Beginner, intermediate and a little bit advanced. But this guy is professional. So we will spoil ourselves. And then when we go to the next guy... We'll say, ah, this is crap, you know, because you are inevitably comparing. When you see something that good as Volodymyr, Volodymyr, then in my language, uh, we say R, very, very, very hard. So uh, people, when they speak English in my country, they say very hard, almost like Russians, you know. Uh, that's why those Slavic languages, we have a hard R. Hard, rrr. and uh, that's what differentiates us. Not not only us. I think the Germans also have hard. Rrr. Practice more. Romanians also, I think. So many many countries have this. Rrr. Rrr. Uh, French people. Rrr. All right, no problem. All right, let's go to the next guy, Alexei Ushakov. He's from Russia, probably. Oh, I don't know. My French is impeccable. My French is impeccable. The, don't think I'm making fun of the French people. I'm making fun of everybody, so don't worry. It's it's fine. It's fine. Okay, we have this uh, animal, alien. Alien. Uh, it's not particularly bad. What I would suggest for this alien particularly, is to break the symmetry in the middle point here. So... Here and here you can have symmetry, it's not that visible, but in the middle, you usually want to just break it with some uh, folds in there in the middle. He has break, break, he had break it a little bit, and uh, with the nose we, you can see that uh, part of the nose a little bit up, part of the nose a little bit down. But don't break it just by moving things, break it by just drawing things in the middle of the, that, that are passing through the middle line of the character, which will be nice, yeah. And of course, make better render because this is just from basically from ZBrush, I would say. Uh, but this mouse is nice. I think we have seen this mouse. I don't know. Yeah, we've seen it. It's pretty cool. We already have seen this portfolio also. Yeah, so yeah, a lot of people are posting their portfolios a couple of times with the hope of probably, I don't know what hope they have. But uh, they are taking time from other people that can, you know, have their time. Uh, reviewed by me, which is not uh, something to brag about, by the way. Or is it? I'm not sure. It's not a problem. Uh, okay, here I would say anatomy can be better, but uh, the folds on the pants are not super bad. There is a little bit too much black, as I always say. It's I don't like it. Here we can see more. With this, the folds are not bad, but they are not very good. So they are somewhere between. I've seen much worse. I've seen much better. Uh, the anatomy here, especially in this area, is um, kind of true. But it doesn't look ultra cool. But it's kind of true because, you see, the shoulder is on top of everything. The chest muscle is coming below the shoulder. And then the biceps is below everything, which is exactly what we see here. But still, it doesn't quite look right. There are some things that can be done, but uh, whatever. It, it, it looks pretty good, by the way. The, the hair is nice. The face is cool. So, Mohamed is doing great. He's from Tunisia. Okay. 
yeah, it, uh, it's visible that he's not professional or ultra advanced, but he's very much advanced enough to work in the industry. For example, back in the days, uh, the characters for Fallout 3 from Bethesda, super AAA game, a AAA game, was uh, were in around this quality. Even probably, no, around this quality. So, like, let's say 15 years ago, this guy would be one of the good. But now you need more, better anatomy and everything. People are using scans. So if your sculpts are not almost as good as scans, it's not looking good. Back in the days, it was not like this. There were no scans that much used in the industry. So people were used to... Uh, those kind of models who are mediocre and this was the quality this was the the bar but now the bar is much much higher okay i like this because we can see everything there are there are not super hard shadows uh covering half of the face or covering half of anything there is some it's a little bit flat the face looks a little bit flat and the materials are a little bit strange but other than that it's not bad and when we see the, the thumbnail, the thumbnail is good, it's nice, because it's colorful, it catches the eye, it's contrasty, and we can see what's happening with the character, so it's cool. This girl we will not see, but this is catching my eye. This is looking very good, I would say. I like it. And there is grooming, there are uh, these things. This is, this is low poly? No, probably not. Female dwarf. It seems like a child, by the way, not exactly a female dwarf, but but it's looking pretty nice. I like it. This is a child dwarf. Child dwarfs also have beards. So this is a child dwarf and it's looking great. Uh, yeah, we, the tits are n unnecessary. It doesn't look like a female exactly, in my opinion. But yeah, it's cool. It's cool. This is this is cool, and he has uh, posted it last week, so it's uh, his last. Week. Probably we will see it lower in our station, but good, good job. He is advancing obviously from here to here. You see the difference of rendering materials, sculpting is quite a big difference. So let's before we see Stanislav Bespoyasov. Let's answer some questions pretty quick, and I will be quick this time, I promise. So, Nico, the resolution of the scene, anti-aliasing as in Blender seems to be better than ZBrush scene, is it right? Mm, it doesn't matter that much. Nico is so fast, Blender sometimes crashes to slow him down. Yes, does he review 3D portfolios that aren't characters? Usually I uh, try to not review not characters, but sometimes I do. After sculpting, I stuck in with the apology where it's come to here. Any tips, Nico? Yes. What fuff do you use? 88, yes. What's your living expenses in Bulgaria? Uh, I told you, it's, uh, it, it depends. It can be living expenses for, for four people, two kids and, uh, you know, a wife and me. The expensive can be, the expenses can be around, let's say, $105,000. This is the lowest, low, low, low. If you own an apartment, if you don't owe too many cars and stuff like this. But they can be up to, like, let's say, four thousand dollars six thousand dollars if you go a little bit too much so yeah come to iran i wish i wish i wish i can come to every country by the way you can start stream on twitch and youtube at the same time that's why people can subscribe monthly and do special things for subscribers for example i ah, in twitch you mean uh, yeah but uh, we will see there are many things that can be done you know hi nico thank you for good streams while i'm working thank you very much for working while i'm streaming what about Udemy? Udemy is... Uh, it depends. I use PayPal. Our station, Udemy, everything goes to my PayPal. And uh, from what I what comes to my PayPal, that's from what I pay taxes, you know. But yeah, if he sends me directly to the PayPal, then those money will come from the European Union. And then there are some registrations that has to be done, which we don't want to do. That's why I'm usually working with people without European Union. Uh, with, without, not without. <laughs> Outside of European Union. Uh, yeah. 
Nico, how do you feel when Bulgaria joined EU? Can you tell us a little bit about that? What changed, what happened and how were people affected? Yeah, Euro European Union is nice. When the European Union funds, money from European Union starts coming, Bulgaria starts, uh, you know, developing. And even if our gov government was pretty corrupt and still is, but then was pretty corrupt because the head of the government was a former uh, guy from this shady business things and yeah you probably will say but how this kind of guy from the from the those uh people who are out of the law outcasts or whatever how he he can become a prime minister uh because the prime minister in prime minister in bulgaria is the man with the most power in bulgaria not the the president as like for example ukraine and russia and france those are countries with the president's republic ours is a is a parliament republic but the the most power has the prime minister so the prime minister was this guy which was from the wrestlers times uh, the the force times and um, he's very corrupt and he has made a lot of highways and he's always bragging about those highways which highways five years after they're built they start to you know to have this kind of bumps and stuff because they are built very cheaply because they are money to build a highway and the highway is built with like 25 percent of the money i'm not sure exactly how much is the percentage but i'm pretty sure it's well be below 50 percent so the rest of the money goes to the pockets of many people especially the prime minister of course and of course, this way he's very rich. And you would say, but if you all know, if whole Bulgaria knows this, how does he uh, stay prime minister? He stays because he's, he, uh, people, many people feel like he's close to the people. They tend to forgive him. In Bulgaria, there is this, and in former Soviet, country, Soviet countries and in Russia, there is this feeling that when you are in power and the people below, they feel it, that you are above them. You are more inclined to do whatever you can, you want. When you are up there, you are untouchable. When you are a prime minister or whatever. In the Western countries, uh, it's not exactly like this. Um, people are more like uh, servants to the, to the people, those who are in power. Uh, in our society here, uh, it's made feel like uh, they have all the power. And you are a servant to them because you are paying taxes, so they can get it, get it in your pockets. But whatever, <coughs> when European money starts coming in, they start to steal also part of that. And uh, but some part remained for the for the country, and we started to live in a little bit better. Our standard of living improved. It was nice. Namaste, brother Nico from Barhat, 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 Baharat. Thank you. Hello, sir from India. Hello. No Chinese people do speak English. I've heard them say China number one. <laughs> so they can speak a little bit English, right? Hello, Nico. I'm from Pluto. Very good. This stream is 15 minutes delayed now. Wow. Oh, delayed. I don't know. But Nico, what do you think of NTFs? Oh, it's uh, it's uh, again delays because I forgot my, my game again. I'm sorry. Uh, I, I was planning to turn it off, but you know. Ah, you mean delays because I'm uh, reading comments from... Uh, yeah, I'm trying to read all the comments. That's why I'm scrolling up and I'm reading the comments from up. That well, Batman was thick. Yes, that was a thick Batman. Our game loft didn't see you as valuable employee. Yeah, I, I was very valuable. But until things started to change and I started to feel bad about the company, they didn't raise our salaries, uh, you know, despite of uh, the huge inflation. And, uh, but they can, I know the, I kind of know relatively well how much they earn from the, from the games. So for our studio, we have two games, which are good earners and yeah, we are definitely in a big, big company and some studios are not earning that much. So our studio uh, profit is going to, to kind of, uh, so they, so the other studios can live, which is. I don't know, it's probably fair, but until they kind of raise the salaries here and keep people happy, which they didn't. So it's not good. Hey, Nico. 
Love your courses, they are the best ones I've found for beginners. Have you got any tips for sculpting dreadlocks? Not quite. Dreadlocks are very hard and probably you can sculpt them, then if you want them to look good you have to put these little hairs that are going out of the dreadlock and stuff. It's, it's hard, but of course you have to just check internet, probably there are tips there. Can you make a tutorial to explain how to pass Blender to a 3D printing software? Uh, it's um, I don't uh, particularly know that because when I sculpt something, I give it to my printer guy and he's just printing it. How, has, how does he print it? What does he do? He's do not doing too much, by the way. So it's pretty printable. There are some things that you have to do in the, in the program just to make sure it will get out right. Reviews. Your life is on the rope. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. I have to uh, kind of cut out some uh, some questions. But Nico, do you bake normals and AO maps with the option matching by mesh in Substance Painter or do you bake all options? Um, I usually bake all options because I don't... Uh, I was using this matching by mesh, but it was not working quite well for me. So now I separate the things that I want don't want to bake onto each other. I separate them in the low poly, in the high poly too. And then I bake them, and then in the low poly, I put them back together. That's what I do. We will remember Inuko as the lucky look of Blender, the fastest sculptor ever. Yeah, thank you. Do you use Nuke to enhance, enhance your render? No, I usually don't uh, use Nukes uh, because I don't have them. Uh, in Bulgaria, we don't have Nukes. We are not a nuclear country. Uh, Russia, Russians, they use Nukes to f faster their renders. Yeah. Thank you for your get tutorials. I've learned a lot and will continue. Thank you for the inspiration. Stream delayed. Stream is super delayed. Putin is calling you Nico. <laughs> That's why you have a channel called Nico Heart. Exactly. In India, we also have our thick accent. R accent. Accent. We have the accent. Can you please show last artwork? Yeah, this is again like yesterday. I don't know what's happening. Are you from Croatia? No. Spanish have strong R too. Yeah. The roast goes for all directions. Exactly. To me, you can even talk about shit without review and sculpting. Okay, good, good. Uh, there is a guy. Take an example from him. I can talk about everything and this guy will still watch me. And you are like, oh, do reviews. Do this, do this. Uh, I want to see this. Oh. Take an example. As a Frenchman, I don't take it bad. I actually think your French accent is kind of good. <laughs> Thank you. You have my French validation. That's good. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Appreciate the feedback, Nico, okay? Hi, Nico. If you weren't a 3D artist, which profession would you like to do? If I wasn't a 3D artist, what would I be? That's a good question. I haven't thought about that. Maybe I would be a sculptor, just normal sculptor or normal artist, just drawing stuff. Or I would be a graphic designer, because I was. Uh, maybe web designer, maybe I would do websites because I was doing websites and probably I would just continue that but uh, my life just went into this direction which I love in Ukraine the parliament is the most important yes okay in Ukraine parliament is the most powerful than the president okay Nico what's your favorite game my favorite game is probably Fallout series Starcraft but Fallout series most likely is my favorite game Hello from Thailand. Nice to catch up with your live stream. Hello. Hello, sir. When I try to remesh Shift R, it's not working. Usually, it's Shift R is not working. But Shift R? It's not uh, working anymore. It's R. R is for the. for the. to come this net, the net, or the, the grid. And for you to adjust it. And then Control R, I think, is to remesh. So Shift R is not a thing anymore. Yeah. <clears throat> Hi guys, how are you all? Sub brother. Hi Nico from Romania. I am a car guy. Just passed. Ah! I have read all the comments. I'm super happy. Just press R for a mesh. Is it better to sculpt instead of using Blender hair system to do hair? It depends on what hair do you need. Usually I just do this kind of type of hair. Which I did for the... For the Demon Huntress and the... Uh, and for my latest course of the Armored Lady. And that's why I don't use the hair particles or whatever. But if you have to do the hair particles, you have to do the hair particles. So it's fine. Love you. Just watch stream, but want our station review very much also. Okay, let's do this. 
Uh, Станислав Безпоянов or something like this. Безпоясов. Безпоясов. Okay, this is the Demon Huntress, not bad, I would say. I think we have seen it already, or at least I have seen it. He have made the... Ha! <laughs> he made the hits and put them the same way I did. Okay, good, good, very good, very good. It's a good exercise, I would say. Pretty good. Ooh, they are uh, all rotating. And the skull looks very nice. And this skull also, kind of, maybe the teeth on the back have to be a little bit more up, but... It's fine. The the mouths uh, and some areas I see they are a little bit bigger, but whatever. Those those are not for this. Yeah, this guy has mostly my courses, ex with the exception of this character here. So at some point when you are doing, yeah, this is a little bit bad, but still it's probably uh, an older work. But when you are sculpting and trying to improve and everything, it's not a problem to put uh, on your portfolio something from a course. It's not an issue at all. It's a good thing to, of course, mention where it is from. It's fine. But uh, at at some point, when you start doing your own sculpts from uh, from concepts that you find, uh, you just have to mention the concept artist. It's okay. But then you have to... I would say it's a good thing to remove those things because they will be your learning and that will show uh, what's your progress but at the end uh, you don't need to leave something like this because it's it's pretty bad anatomy wise and it's uh, it's a uh, overall it's not ultra bad you, you see it, it has very nice uh, things on his legs these armors on, on his on his arms but the arms themselves and the torso and the face are eh, a little bit off the idea is that these things, the old things, that, uh, you know, you probably value them, but they are not good for your portfolio uh, commercial-wise. They will not be good. Ooh, this gun seems very nice. You know, I don't particularly, uh, you know, review hard surface, but when I see something very good, then uh, we are fine. So this guy is uh, with my name, Nikolai Zaharov. Zaharov. Beretta, we see it. very much detailed and very, very nice gun. I like guns, by the way. I like knives. I like those kind of things. And that's why I like it. Yeah, very nice. This guy is a very nice hard surface artist. You know, I, I can do hard surface too. But probably not on this level. Because this level requires a lot of patience, a lot of, um, a lot of work, a lot of work. Which I'm not willing to do for a hard surface thing usually. But this guy can, so it's cool. He's from Moscow, Russia. We don't care if somebody is from Russia or from North Korea. Or from whatever. We care only about how we can improve. Or how good we are now, how we can improve. Now, you see, this character looks uh, relatively interesting. But there are issues. There are issues. Now, the eyes... They are just like holes. They don't have like eyelids that much and stuff like this. It's not uh, quite well. And also when he lifts his arm like this, this part of his hoodie will kind of drop in a straight line below the, the arm here. It will not do this kind of strange folds. And also for a stylized character like this, you don't want to have that many chaotic folds. You need few folds, very well placed if you can. But other than that, it's a good render, I like it, it's bright, it's nice. The only thing I would advise everybody, and listen carefully, always make shadow on the ground. And here we have, no, we don't have, we don't have shadow. Which means he's like flying or something. If the character is flying, okay, probably. But if he's not, it's, uh, it's a good thing to have shadows. So Scotty from Australia, he's making this guy. That's not bad. It's uh, from uh, Nicola Saviori concept, as we see here. But uh, yeah, it's, it's fine. I mean, it's, it's okay. It can be better, of course. But uh, it's relatively fine. Good. What else we can say? Yeah, make shadows and uh, just keep improving. It's fine. Bionic arm. Let's see the bionic arm. Very good arm, I would say. 
I don't have complaints about this arm at all. Yeah, very good. Definitely. Definitely I like it. Uh, the organic stuff though, let me see this guy. He's not the worst. I would say even, even good. Material wise, it's fine. The teeth has this kind of a dirty thing here. It's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. The problem that I see is here in the middle, it's almost, especially here in this area, which is the forehead, it has to have asymmetry there. There the symmetry is more visible. So asymmetry here, and those folds here, the wrinkles, which are on the lower eyelid and below, uh, they're pretty much the same and it's, it's boring. It doesn't look organic. They have to be a little bit, you know, you have to watch references, old guys uh, and stuff like to see how uh, to do, it, do them better. 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 Other than that, he has broken the symmetry. You see the veins here are not symmetrical. Those things here, the detail is not symmetrical. But here, the big part is pretty symmetrical, which usually is not a good choice. But other than that, it's not bad. And the render is pretty cool. This hand is very, very nice. And this has to be removed because it's a 2D drawing just for fun. You have to be careful with those things if you want a, a good portfolio. I kind of like this character, by the way. This character needs a better render, of course. This, I think, is from Keyshot. I don't know. A Keyshot, yeah. It's from Keyshot. Uh, muscles, it can be better. This line here between the biceps and uh, this muscle was the brachioradialis. It's not supposed to be that huge line here. Even when the arm is a little bit bent, it shouldn't be that huge. Also here the shoulder can be a little bit better. The front shoulder usually is a little bit smaller. It looks a little bit smaller because it's above the biceps. And then you go the side shoulder, which is usually a little bit longer. And it can be nice. But other than that, it's, uh, it's a pretty good model. I like the legs. They're nice. The folds can be better, of course, but folds always can be better. Even my folds can be better, so it's fine. So let's continue to our next guy. And I'm saying guy because mostly we are seeing guys. Here and there we can see some girl, but usually guys. Okay, I, I think we have seen this portfolio. This guy is not bad at all. He's from Bonevento, Italy. And Italia, of course, has this kind of a culture of sculpting. Michelangelo, Leonardo, all the great sculptors are from Italy. So it's normal this guy has some talent if we can say if we say the talent exists. So yeah, it's it's relatively fine. Of course, he needs to practice more. That's always the case. But this is not bad at all, I would say this girl, but we have already seen her, I'm pretty sure. Let's see this guy. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. Uh, the the face is looking very nice. The render is a little bit dark, but still it's not bad because the sculptor is pretty cool. The biceps could be better, but the chest is kind of on point. So yeah, we have it. It's fine. It's looking good. What is this? Is this a 3D? It's interesting. Yeah, it's a 3D. Very cool, by the way. This guy has developed his skills nicely. He has feeling for the silhouette. He has feeling for, for the forms for the shapes, and he's doing a great job. I would say this is very, very nice. I would like to see more from this guy, Matt Lefties, Lefties, Lefties. I don't know how it's in uh, Italian. Andrei Idichenko has made this. Oh, yeah, let's see. I haven't seen too much of this girl, by the way. Probably people are a little bit intimidated to to make her and to show uh, their result. Well, this is relatively cool. She can be a little bit more forward with her hips. But other than that, it's fine. The face, the face is difficult to make. This one is, uh, it's fine. It's relatively fine. But yeah, it's not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. And this guy is a beginner. Probably not uh, 18 years old. Let's see. Probably he's 18 because yeah, those uh, artworks are from a couple of months ago, so he's 18 years old and he's doing these things. This guy has a great fu future if he continues to work 
and develop himself. Because, for example, we see this. This is one of the good uh, Vikings that I've seen uh, from the from the course. As we know, my courses are in the description of the video. You can see them. This is the my Viking. We can see it if we can. Yeah, it's a uh, yeah. So it's not bad at all, but the hands are particularly, especially this one here, looks a little bit too much. There are a little bit too much of those, um, how are they called? The yeah. Sometimes I forget just basic words, you know. Tendons, yeah. Those tendons are a little bit too much, or a lot too much. But yeah, let's not say a lot. Let's see this. This looks very nice. This is from. The anatomy course, I think. But the the torso is pretty nice, except for the biceps. It's a little bit too long, I guess. Um, but it, overall, it's looking very nice. The arms, the legs, everything is looking pretty, pretty nice. So he is, obviously, this is from 23 hours ago. So this guy is obviously advancing every day, probably. Because he's working. This is from the Viking is from three months ago and he's just doing better and better. This is from some other course, I guess. Probably. It's not bad at all. So yeah, Andre has a bright future. 18 years old. Imagine that. Uh, after two years, he will be as good as me. After five years, he will be like uh, in the stratosphere. Uh, people like this. I envy him because he's so young. And he started so young. When I started sculpting, I was 25, I think, or 27. Yeah, around 27, I think, I sculpted, started sculpting. So, yeah. Ooh, this looks pretty amazing. And why I say amazing is when I want to see if somebody is good uh, and I cannot see the face quite well, I watch how the arms is holding the sword, for example. And this is pretty perfect, pretty much perfect. So the arm is holding the sword very much perfect. Uh, the other swords, of course, are very nicely done. The armors are pretty well. The overall anatomy is not bad. The folds, great, I would say, great folds. I rarely say that, but those folds are not bad at all. No, no, uh, not bad at all is an understatement. They are very good folds. This guy obviously is a kind of professional. So he's a 3D character artist in WeChat, Andrew Elias. Andrew Elias. Okay. He has sculpted this for Loot Studios Fantasy Race, Demon or Devil. Demon or Devil. Devil or Demon. But amazing, right? Yeah. Andre. Ah, this is Andre. Ah, he wanted to see his portfolio because he wants to brag how good he is. I understand now. And he's pretty good, I admit that. It's, there, there's no doubt about it. He's just very, very good. We cannot say he's not because he's... Yeah, definitely. See? Just very good piece. And also he's... Have a great attention to detail. He has great feeling for the forms and for... Um, you know, there is no weak point, uh, we can say. Good folds, very nicely made, very organic and, uh, you know, nice. Yeah, this is not the best work, but probably that was the the project. And anime is probably difficult to make. I don't know if I made anime, but it's probably pretty difficult to make in 3D and make it look good. And he's working for uh, this kind of, yeah, figures and stuff. Very nice. Mm, yeah. Yeah, people can uh, learn from him. I mean, it's it's pretty cool. And monsters and stuff. Yeah, we don't want again to see too much of this because we will spoil our eyes. And when we look at something worse, which most of the things, it's normal to be worse than that because he's a uh, obviously professional. We cannot say anything else. Yeah. Ah, you was before. Uh, you were before the this guy. Yeah, the, the eighteen years ago. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So you are uh, Andre Indichenko in the chat is the eighteen year old guy, which has future, bright future, 
And this, this guy is just uh, here to brag about how good uh, of a professional artist he is, which is good. I don't uh, mind that because it's always nice to see this kind of uh, professional and good made, well made models. I don't mind. Let's see, this is not our station, but it's still a portfolio, so it's fine. We see he likes to do this kind of characters from manga, from anime, from this kind of things. Um, so the renders are a little bit off. Some things, for example, this face is too bright and too plasticky. Uh, here we cannot see too much, the, but yeah, let's see this character. You see the folds are not very good here. They are pretty chaotic here and there. Uh, not quite well made, the folds. The hands are good, they are nice, they are fine. But the anatomy and the folds, and the anatomy of the folds, because there is anatomy of the fold, is not quite well. Now, let's see this. Those folds could be good, but they are very parallel, which you don't want to do. You want your folds to go like this, like angular. Don't make them parallel, parallel doesn't look good on faults. Even if they are parallel on real life, it doesn't look good also on real life. So when we are making models, we want our models to look, look good, to look as much, as better as the real life, even better than real life. That's why we have to find references which are looking fine. They're looking nice. They're looking like uh, cool, you know, and when you see these folds, which are like parallel, they no, don't look cool. Other than that, the shoes, the boots are looking fine. This overall, the character looks relatively fine, except for the face is a little bit, you know, it's a skull, I know, but it's, there is something about it I don't completely approve. There's something off in some of those characters, but I think they're getting better. Uh, the, the more recent they are, they're getting better. For example, this one, it's looking pretty nice. The render again lacks a little bit of um, more ambient occlusion. So even in this cartoony characters, I would say put a little bit of ambient occlusion. It's always a nice thing. I don't think there is too much ambient and that's why it looks a little bit flat overall. But yeah, that's fine. Who is this? We, we don't know. This is Matthew. Matthew, Matthew. Learning brand from YouTube since October 20. Oh, so this guy is learning for less than a year and uh, have so many models. I would say there is a lot of future for people like this, you know. Learning from... Uh, ah, but he's learning Blender. Probably he has done those models with ZBrush before that. I don't know what's happening, you know. But Nico, collectible sculptors usually do copyrighted stuff and famous... LPS, LPS, don't they get sued by the companies? I mean, how they be able to sell another company's characters? I don't write uh, exactly no, by the way. I don't know. And that's why most collectible sculptors, they are making... Um, they are making... Uh, Patreons. And in Patreon, you can do some stuff. Do you agree that sculpting skills are different from anatomy skills? Being good at sculpting make you good with shapes and forms? and understand them better, while anatomy is just knowledge. They intertwine, I, intertwine, I think. They are not completely different from each other. They sh should intertwine, because, you know, you should be able to sculpt the, the anatomy in order to sculpt good. Of course, you can sculpt... Usually, I haven't seen... It's rare to see a very good sculptor, who is, has very good sculpting skills, without the anatomy skills. They kind of go hand to hand. They're probably different, yes, but they go hand to hand usually. I think we have seen this portfolio from Kaspar Raphael from Poland. We have seen this lady, this lady also this, and this, the last one. It's not bad, by the way, when you see, again, symmetry, a lot of symmetry in the middle here, which uh, is spoiling a little bit the character. It looks like he has this symmetrical line f in his skull. Yeah, I, I know that probably this is how the character is and this render is looking pretty okay pretty much okay we see here metal and something like leather and uh yeah those arms are looking great and those folds here they look like from, from uh from marvel's designer even which means that they are relatively pretty much okay yeah very good character by the way if you see the the thumbnail 
it's a little bit boring. But when you see the character itself inside with the turntable, in my opinion, the thumbnail should be a little bit more, a little bit better looking, a little bit better presenting the character, uh, maybe from three quarters or something, uh, because it's a little bit boring, the thumbnail itself. But inside, the first thing that we have to see is the turntable, not because now the first thing we see is this black and white image. And we just click away. We, you know, people are having very short amount, short life, life, uh, not lifespan, <laughs> very short uh, attention span. So when they click on your image, they expect to be amazed immediately. So if you put, if they click and see this, then they will be happy and they will like. And in my opinion, the uh, the probability of liking, if you put this as a first kind of a thing they see, is like at least five times better than this, you know, at least five times. So just change the places of the things. Other than that, it's fine. You are good. I'm giving, uh, you know, uh, rates on people, you know, you are good, you are not good, you are good enough. <sighs> this looks pretty cool. This I don't understand, by the way. This is just a nose. And that's it. And this is spoiling the overall uh, thing a little bit. The overall idea. Because this is looking pretty great. Clean forms, clean shapes, well made, looks nice. Yeah, but this nose, what is this? Just a nose. I don't know. This, I think, shouldn't be there. Although it's a nose, very well made nose, but still, it's not good for the thumbnail, especially. This is a nice, yeah, it's a nice model, by the way. It's not presented pretty well because it's too bright. Uh, you barely can see the forms. When you are presenting a model like this, which is stylized, cartoony, you need to watch and collect models uh, like this, the same type of models, to see how people are making their renders. A little bit with more color, and uh, of course the volume is important. There was no volume in this. It was pretty flat looking, flat looking. The model itself is great, but the presentation is not. This one. Again, the model itself is great, the presentation is not bad at all. But there is a little bit more than can be done, I think. A little bit more here, uh, a little bit darker on the pants, for example, because they are down. Uh, it's uh, Everything is too bright, too, too much the same, you know. When I squeeze my eyes, I can see only beard and uh, this thing a little bit. The other things are just, dis they disappear. Of course, yeah, this is how the model is almost. But uh, still, a little bit more shadow. Yeah, I was not uh, thinking that I would say that because usually, it's the opposite. Usually, I beg people to just not make this dark, super dark shadows. Here, I would say a little bit more darker shadows would be better. Because there is a golden middle or something like this. Yeah. Yeah, this guy is uh, pretty good, I would say. He has to just remove this from his portfolio and... Uh, just do more contrast images and he will be fine. Not ultra contrast, you have to be careful with this. But more contrast, that's what I'm saying. Not the super contrast, just more contrast will be better. Let's see what we have here. Uh, we are 1 hour and 30 minutes into this. And I think we have made a huge progress with our station portfolios today, which is great. Okay, this is some kind of uh, interesting animal. The render is relatively fine. Here, those hairs, they don't look good. Because they are pretty much identical hairs, put like, like with alpha, just put them the same. And they are pretty thin, which doesn't look like clumps of fur. It looks a little bit strange. Yeah, you cannot just put this alpha brush all over the place and expect it to work. You have to think. Some of the alphas have to be a little bit, you know, the, the, 
the the direction of these hairs have to be different in different parts of the body. There are a lot of things to consider, a lot of things. Not just putting the alphas there and forget about it. It's not that easy to make fur uh, stylist, stylist, stylized fur. Those are nice anatomy, very nice by the way. Some of them are very nice anatomy studies. But of course, as a portfolio piece, this is not very good. For me, to judge your skills by this, to judge how you are doing. So you're doing studies, you're doing studies from uh, little concepts like I like to do it, which is very nice. I like to do it very much. And th those are organic doodling, which is exactly what they are. But they don't have exactly place into your portfolio usually. Because what good are they making to your portfolio? So they don't have place here. This uh, absolutely doesn't have place here. It's those are just sketches, fast work. N nobody that will seek somebody to do job for him. So uh, a guy who is searching for character artist will look at this and say, "Oh, I want this guy because he's uh, doing these fast things um, for like uh, one hour sculpts, and uh, I like it." No. People usually want guy who is spending time and putting time into the model and making quality models, which we don't see at all in this portfolio. I'm sure that this guy can do it. Probably he's just a little bit too young to just uh, make his uh, mind about it and start spending more time and more developing his work. You know, because most of it is just unfinished and just it looks like he just put some things and its overall sculpting skills are not bad at all. But he doesn't spend enough time. That's the problem here. And that was my problem also back in the days, but I learned to spend enough time. I, I always say that, but how I learned to spend time. This is Dimitri Zaharov, by the way. Zaharov or Zaharov. So, uh... We have, uh, I have learned to spend time, more time and developing the presentation when I started my art station. So it was like six, seven, eight years ago. I'm not sure how much it, uh, time has passed. But when I started my art station, I started to think about my model a little bit different. So I was modeling it, then I was texturing it, for example. And when I render it, I render it and I, I render it and I say, okay, it's ready. But then I think, okay, now. Let me look at this render and I open the render itself. I say, is this good enough for our station? Are gonna people are people gonna like it? No. So I spent three more hours refining the things to just uh, so it can be worthy to go to our station, you know. Because when you are in this public space like our station, you want to show the best of you, not just to show your sculpting skills, which I thought it's enough, to just sculpt something and since it's a good sculpt relatively good sculpt and it i like it it came out nice and i will just print screen it and post it on our station it doesn't work like this anymore back in the days maybe now no now you have to spend time on the render and stuff this is for my course that i did for next to education it's not bad at all by the way it's pretty cool uh representation of the course yeah it's very nice Dimitri. This is from the anatomy course, female anatomy course. Not bad. There are uh, issues here on the hips, a little bit too round, but it's fine. Yeah. And on the face, there are issues on the face, definitely. Because she looks like one eyebrow, which usually for a female is not exactly the best thing to have. Maybe back in the days in, in some Arab countries, uh, I heard I'm not, I don't know if it's true, but there were females with uh, with one eyebrow and they were finding them pretty attractive. I mean the males. Which is okay because uh, people tastes, they change in time. Back in the Renaissance era, the more fluffy girls were more uh, attractive. Now, not now exactly, but uh, like let, let's say 30 years ago or 25 years ago, it was very, very skinny ladies that were attractive, uh, like uh, almost uh, super skinny. And now, I'm not sure. Now probably just normal 
a little bit with everything, you know, it's better. But this is in Western nation. In in Arabic countries, probably it's different. I'm not sure. Dmitry Zaharov. Yeah, not bad, by the way. This is uh, kind of a good sculpt. He has spent time doing this snakes, which is great. Uh, this is one of the cases that he probably has spent more time doing the snakes than doing the face. Uh, which usually people don't do, and I also don't do it. I usually spend the most time on the face, and then hair, or some kind of haircut, or hat, or whatever, is just a secondary form, just something that I just put there, like I did with this thing, <laughs> you know? So, yeah. So he's, he has done a not bad job here, at all. Let's see this. Yeah, he's getting better, definitely. It's visible how he's getting better in uh, facial anatomy and everything and it's normal when you constantly practice and try and sculpt and practice again to get better it's just a normal normal thing to get worse it's not normal but to get better it's always nice so it's good this one we have al already seen this one i think we have but let's see i'm getting tired by the way of speaking constantly i'm speaking so much and yeah, uh, lately I said that uh, I speak all the time, even when I'm working alone. Of course, that was a joke. It's uh, it's absurd to think that I'm speaking that much, even alone. Yeah. Thank you for doing more our station reviews today, Nico. Russia will not invade us, at least for today. No, no, they, they were to invade me, uh, not the, all the Bulgaria. Yeah, just paratroopers just drop onto uh, our, you know, building and... Yeah, but we avoid that, so we ha don't have to think about it. So here, we see a portfolio with mostly hard surface stuff. So it's probably nice, although it's a little bit inconsistent. So this is a little bit dark, and uh, this is dark. This is completely dark. This is a gun, and you have to present the gun. You have to show your piece, and it's super dark. You, you cannot see basically the gun. It's just a dark thumbnail. This one is more visible, but the background is taking a little bit of the presentation because usually you want your model to be more contrasty with more saturated colors than the background so yeah this gun will be better with kind of either dark either the background will be darker and more desaturated and the gun will be lighter than this or the gun should may stay the same and the background will be white for example or just much much more bright we have a one one character here, by the way, and uh, the problem here is mostly the pose. The folds are not bad by themselves, but they are kind of the same here and here and here and here and here. Just the diamond shape folds. Diamond shape folds is okay. It's always nice, and it can always work, almost always. So it's fine. But if you do it the same way all over, it's not good, you know, because folds. Are mostly where the fabric is compressed and the fabric is usually more compressed in the bottom uh, because there is the the weight of the fabric is coming to the bottom so the bottom of the pants the bottom of the shirt usually and the bottom of the sleeves if they are kind of a tight sleeves those are the parts that you will have more more folds and the other parts you may have no folds at all the other parts you will have just one or two that's the thing so it's a problem but the pose also this guy doesn't have shoulder it's lifting his arm from some somehow like you know so yeah but it's uh, of course ha huh, this is animation interesting it's not looking ultra bad by the way the render can be better of course uh, but it's uh, when when it's animated even if the model is not ultra cool when animated it's it can look much better you know the model itself in the tipos it's relatively fine although he has this huge strange shoes but yeah he looks like a clown in a spacesuit by the way with these shoes i don't know just uh, for me it looks like this i'm not saying anything it's fine you know. and let's see one of the final portfolios because uh i'm getting tired i have to probably rest a little bit too much speaking too much watching the monitor and the, this light that's uh, bright into my face it's not quite perfect but it's fine it's fine we have this 
pirate uh, on the t-shirt here so it's everything is cool so we have batman we have other things here i think we have seen this portfolio already he's doing, doing mostly cartoony characters uh, when we see this render for example what do we notice we notice that uh, except for the anatomy which is not very good because it's like a michelin man and the michelin man like Proko said, we have to avoid the Michelin Man or the Snowman. He said, we have to hate the Snowman. Which means that forms from... Uh, let's let's watch the, his uh, thighs here. So one side and the other side are the same. Which is never like this. And you have to avoid it even in cartoon character, in my opinion. And also the, the render itself is a little bit muddy. It's not uh, quite well. It's it's like there is some this kind of an orange lamp that's making everything in this orange hue which doesn't work quite well for this type of character so renders could be better this one this one is kind of nice although here it's a little bit creepy on the smile and the uh, arms are pretty huge uh, the fingers are kind of one finger just copy it to the other side it's never like this you have the curve of the arm this finger is like this this one is like this so the the normal of the finger, we may say, one is pointing this way, one is pointing this way, the other this way, and the other this way, for example. They are like this. They are not like like straight. Uh, and many things like this are just obvious signs of that the guy is not that good in anatomy. And also, this uh, legs here, uh, they are pretty square. I'm not sure that this is the right way to do this character, you know. Maybe this is something like a Lego version of this character. Then probably it could work, but otherwise uh, it's not good. This this is okay. It's okay because it's um, it it has this kind of feeling of the character. It's like uh, just happened something something very bad happened just to this character. He had blown up or something, and he's like sad you know it's it's cool it's cool let's continue a little bit this one we have already seen but let's see if there is something new there is nothing new the dinosaur i think we have seen at the end this is not a bad dinosaur i would say it's pretty cool the render is pretty nice although when i squeeze my eyes it a little bit disappeared so maybe a little bit brighter render or darker background you need to have this contrast between background and uh, the character as you can see i will show you exactly what i mean you see this character for example it's black and white and the background is blue but it's working because i've put this black outline and uh, the character is pretty contrasty itself and the background is kind of low contrast as a whole so it's it's kind of working it's not the best possible scenario the best possible scenario is this one when you have a bright colorful character which, by the way, I see here it's not particularly well rendered. It's a little bit muddy. So I will make a uh, you know, review of my all own character. But it's it's fine. It could be better, of course. It it's always can be. And there are a little bit too much dark shadows here. Oh, dark shadows on my own models. What's happening here? But I was, uh, you know, young back then. It was last year. <laughs> so I was young and stupid. Now I'm better. And yeah contrast you need all you need is contrast dum -da 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 -dum. all you need is contrast dum -da 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 -dum. all you need is contrast contrast anatomy and shapes too dum -dum. yeah Beatles you know where do you put your black outline on a character from the render itself or in post I think this was uh, for the turntable of Lobo. I don't know if I put it in Blender somehow or I made it in uh, After Effects. Either of those things. One of those. I'm not sure. Nico, why don't you try sculpting on a pen display one day? Do you prefer screenless tablet? Yeah, I prefer screenless tablets because I haven't spent too much time with a uh, screen... not screenless, but screen-wise tablet. <laughs> so, yeah. Probably I would like it, who knows. But I have to it I have to spend at least ten hours 
to see if I like it. Uh, other than that, if I spend like five minutes, I probably will not like it because it will be unnatural for me. Natural is a tablet because I'm using tablets since 2007, no, 2006, I think, was the first, or 2005, I'm not sure. 2005 or 2006, I bought my first tablet. Since then, I was using a tablet to draw, mostly. And then, 2010, I think, uh, or 2009, when I started sculpting in ZBrush. So, 13 years ago, uh, I started sculpting in ZBrush, yeah. I was 29, by the way, so not 27 even. But I had some anatomy knowledge from drawing and stuff. So this is not bad, by the way. This is not ultra bad. Although the faults, you see, parallel, not good. You have to be careful. Made them diamond shape, it will be better. Uh, not enough time put on the jacket. It's just look unfinished. Uh, not enough time put on the face. Uh, but uh, the face is relatively fine. The hair also. The render of the face is... And the overall, it's not superb, although it's not bad. But can be a little bit brighter on the face. What I would do, in this case, is to put another light just for the face, with low intensity, but just to lit the face a little bit more, probably. I don't know. And this is kind of the same model, I would say, with another render, and a little bit more refined jacket. But the when you see the head, this is probably a... This should be a shirt, but the neck is looking awful. And the render as a whole looks very dark and muddy in some areas here and here. It doesn't look quite well. The pants, uh, they have some interesting faults here. But here it's too much crimpled and stuff. Probably uh, some some generation of, of, of clothing is... Uh, is used, which not always is a nice thing, because you have to know how to do it, you know, in order to make it work. In this case, it doesn't work quite well. Here, the folds of the legs are not bugging me that much, but the whole character is shiny, too shiny. I mean, this is probably his metal, you know, thing, but it shouldn't be that shiny even if it's metal, you know, because it's just shiny, it's not there, there is no metallic uh, as long as I see it doesn't look like metal at all. It looks like something uh, Whatever it is, but it's covered with oil and When you cover with oil your models it doesn't work quite well You have to have contrast you have to have metal shiny parts and You have to have not so shiny rough parts So between them you will your character will look good now. This is shiny all over and doesn't look good that's the case. Okay, I think we will stop. Sorry guys, but I need to rest. Why not wear a blue t-shirt? I don't have to wear a blue t-shirt. Never in the... Um, in YouTube's uh, agreement stuff uh, has written, you know, you have to use blue t-shirt for your videos. No? So I can use whatever. Hey Nico, I have a uh, question about the yesterday blue character. The stone don't make a problem when you rig the pose. And thank you. I don't rig the pose, so it will make a problem for the rigging guy. I don't know. Probably not. Maybe for animations, some of the stones will uh, stretch a little bit. But it, it's expected. It, it's okay. Where do you put your black online? Or, okay, okay. Okay. Thanks for the reviews and advice, Nico. Thank you very much, guys. See you in the next video, which will be someday. Nobody knows when. We have made this character amazing for less than 20 minutes, I think, or around that. But, uh, yeah, it's fine. For 20 minutes, it's fine. Let's put some shadow on it to see what's happened. Well, pff, it's absolutely perfect. Hmm. <laughs> Amazing. Okay.